I don't get a lot of views on YouTube, but recently one of my videos from nine years ago has inexplicably become popular. After getting no traction for nearly a decade, it's now sitting on top of my most popular videos list. Like, by a lot. The video is about choosing to be an optimist, because seeing the hypothetical glass as half full or half empty is always your choice. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that my video about optimism is popular now, after all the turmoil, war, and anger that seems to be permeating every aspect of society. I have never felt so much agitation in my life, and maybe you could use a dose of positivity too. In today's video, you'll learn one extremely unusual way to be an optimist. Let's go! I'm sharing one of my weirdest coaching tips that I've seen transform my clients' lives as soon as they grasp the concept. Ready? Here it is. Act as if the worst is behind you. When you're trying to be more optimistic, someone always pops in with the silly suggestion to live as if this is your last day on earth. Seriously, I can point you to about a million articles and social media posts about living like you're dying. The idea is that you'll be daring and do what you love if there's no risk of embarrassment or consequences tomorrow. I'm taking a stand right now and saying that that advice is gross and wrong. Really, you want me to act as if I'll be dead tomorrow. Okay, let's get real here. What would you honestly be doing today if you're dying tomorrow? I'd be crying hysterically into a pillow. I'd be running around like crazy trying to get my important account passwords to my loved ones. And I would be desperately trying to find a loving home for my dog. Living like you're dying is the exact opposite of living optimistically. Don't do it. As your coach, I have some better advice for you. Instead, I want you to act as if the worst is behind you. Unfortunately, many of my clients act like something bad will inevitably happen in the future, like some catastrophe is just waiting around the corner. This makes them timid and pessimistic. But what if the absolute worst thing that will ever happen to you in your life has already happened? What if that time you got fired, or that time you had that accident, or the time that your partner dumped you, or that time your wallet was stolen, was the worst thing that will ever happen to you. What if that was it, and there is no looming badness waiting in the wings? Imagine that. Hey there, before we continue, if you're new here, I'm Sage Grayson, and I'm a former book editor turned life coach. I'm a life editor, and so are you. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my life editing strategies to help you get stuff done while still having fun. Okay, how would you act if the worst was behind you? You'd be more optimistic and hopeful about the future. I started thinking this way many years ago after I survived my suicide attempt at age 15. My story is the most popular blog post on my website, and I'll leave a link below if you want to read it. Basically, after I tried to kill myself, I became happy in a way that I had never known. All of my problems, every single one of them, were suddenly fixable, and I knew that I could escape the awful people, situations, and things that got me to that dark place. I know without a shadow of a doubt that the absolute worst thing that will ever happen to me is behind me. There is nothing in this world that could make me feel as hopeless and crushed as I did back then. Every moment is a gift. Now, I am not saying that you need a near-death experience to become optimistic, but take a moment and look back at the low points of your life. What if it's all uphill from here? What if your worrying pessimism and anxiety about the future is misplaced? Remember, your perception creates your reality, so choose to see the glass as half full every day. Because it really is. Now I want to hear from you. 
Leave a comment below and share what you would do if you acted as if the worst was behind you. What goals would you pursue? What secrets would you share? That's it. This week, act as if the worst is behind you. I want you to wake up every morning knowing in your heart that the best is yet to come. There's an optimist inside you. I just know it. Want more? Watch this video next to learn easy tips to fake it till you make it with the placebo effect.